art friends. I have a different video today. I wanted to show a new art supply I got from Amazon. So you ever have one of those nights, it's late at night, for whatever reason you buy something that you're not sure why you bought it? Well, I had that the other day. I bought a new set of soft pastels. This is by Munjo Gallery. These are handmade soft pastels, 30 colors. Um, it says it was professional grade, so uh, we'll see about that. I'll test them out. Um, they were a pretty decent price for handmade pastels. I think these were around 50 bucks. I will have it down below if anybody's interested. And I'm also going to compare these to some Rembrandts in just a moment. And at the end of the video, I'll swatch these all out in case you're interested in what these look like on two different kinds of paper and what colors you get in this 30 color pack. So let's get into unboxing this. So first off, this is a very nice box. It came with an outer cover that I had to destroy to get this out. So um, it was well packaged. You've got this nice little brochure and they have 200 colors and you can get the set with 200 colors if you want. So here is all their 200 colors. So if you do like them, they have quite the variety, which is nice. And they have other little information about them I read through this briefly, mostly it was how to do what, and just some other, this is the packs you can get on the back. All right, let's see what these look like. I thought these were very pretty, and I thought the variety was very nice. So let me pick out just a couple of colors that I have in Rembrandt and we'll swatch them. Like I said, I don't really know why I got these because I mainly use pan pastels and I only use soft pastel sticks for texture and maybe some details. But who knows, maybe I'll do a whole picture and just soft pastel sticks. It might surprise you. But yeah, let me pick out some Rembrandts and we'll get going on this. All right, that was harder than I thought to find colors that matched because a lot of the pigments just didn't match up and that's fine which means I don't have a lot of duplicates even though they're the same color names they're they're kind of different so let's and like I said these are all Rembrandts and we will start with just black and these get all over the place where Rembrandts don't you can touch a Rembrandt and it's not completely all over the place they're packed a little harder this I can tell is going to be a mess if that matters to you And when I'm testing this out, this is just some Strathmore pastel paper. When I test all the colors, I've got two different kinds for you. Right off the bat, this uh, handmade one is a lot softer and smoother. Okay, let's go into the red. This is Deep Vermilion. I don't know the name of my Rembrandt. Let's do a couple of passes on each. They're both a little crumbly. Let's smooth this out. Blends. Good. Use a dirty finger. Don't want that. Let's go to this side here. Those yellows, it's hard to tell what you're doing with this yellow on this light paper. Let's get down with this blue. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say what the last yellow was. Well, we're going to swatch all these. This is just lemon. This is light cobalt blue. 
This is, like I said, I took most of the, no, I got these in half sticks, so they didn't have a wrapper on them. But this is what matched closest to it. Yeah, these are much harder pressed than these handmade ones, and that's good, because that's kind of what I wanted. I didn't want the same stuff I had. I wanted something a little different. So these are kind of like the in-between of a Rembrandt and maybe my Pan Pastels, because Pan Pastels are very soft to me. And you can even go in with your finger and put it on your paper and smudge it out if you want. So um, these are kind of in-between. Now the last one I have to compare are these oranges. Let's see. Just deep orange. Yeah, these are very creamy and buttery. I like that. It just feels nice across the paper. Not that there's anything wrong with my Rembrandts. They're what I like. Some of these colors look like maybe blending a little easier because of that creamy butteriness. So just off of these original swatch tests, I really like them. And it, I mean, it really depends on. Okay, I got you set up for these swatches. Now when I do this, I'll probably just fast forward and show you the color name like this. Well, I probably won't do white at all. But I'm just going to show the color name so you can see what we're dealing with. And then go through. Now what I've got set up here, this is just Strathmore pastel paper. Over here we have sanded pastel paper because I think that makes a difference in what it looks like. So basically I'm just going to go through, fast forward a little bit, put on some music, and do some pastel swatching. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. If you like this kind of demonstration, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you own these, if you like them. What is your favorite soft pastel? I would love to know. Maybe I need to buy them and try them. See you later, guys.